Hey guys! To start off, I'm going to use a Double Wear Max Coverage Foundation and this brush. And I'm going to apply that all over my face so I have an even canvas to work on. Taking a black eyeliner, this one's from Clinique, I'm going to draw on the pattern of the skeleton. And if you see me keep looking in the corners, that's because I have four pictures of the skeleton on my computer screen that I'm following off of. You want to follow the natural bone structure of your face to get the most realistic skeleton effect. Didn't like those points there, so I wiped them off with a Q-tip. And your lines don't have to be perfect, as you can see mine are not. I'm just doing a rough draft on my face and we'll take a Q-tip later and blend out everything so it looks nice and clean. Go ahead and fill in the nose. You mainly want to focus on the outer edges because we're going to blend it in and you want it to fade from dark to light. Again, filling out the outer edges. And I'm going to fill in my eye or my fake eye socket. <laughs> and now I'm going to draw my lines for where my teeth would be. You just want to follow pretty much your natural shape of your lips and where you would think you, your teeth would be or where you'd want your teeth to be. And then I fill it in a little bit to give it some depth. Taking the Q-tip, now I'm going to blend everything out. If you blend too much, you can go back in and darken it up. <laughs> and again, you want to start darker and blend it out. Here I'm blending in the nose, blending out the darker edges and fading it into the middle. Again, blending from the outer edge in. Same here, blending from the outer edge in. The outer edge should be the darkest. And then I'm just going to blend the outer edge to the lip. And the chin. And this is why the lines don't have to be perfect because when you blend them it smudges them anyways. And I went back in and just darkened those up with the pencil and did more blending with the q-tip. Now you're going to run it along the bottom area of the mouth and kind of outline it to the shape you want. Again, just drawing on more features to make it look more skull-like and again following the picture from Lady Gaga's Born This Way music video. Here I'm drawing on what's supposed to be the spinal cord, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and then some veins, arteries, you know, make it look nice and lifelike. And again, you're going to want to darken the spots that are supposed to look deeper, which adds depth, and then you'll blend it out again with the Q-tip. Here she has like a web looking ear, so I'm attempting to draw a web on my ear 
So I just drew the lines all the way out and then I'm going to connect them with two other lines. Like so. Going in and filling in some shadows underneath the lip and blending it out and above the lip and blending it out. Had to speed it up because if not this video would have been 30 minutes long. And then I'm blending it in with the Q-tip on the neck. Again, filling in the dark spots and blending it out. I'm also looking at my computer screen while I'm doing this. I'm not actually looking in a mirror. So sorry for that. This is another eyeliner that I was using because the other one wasn't giving me the depth that I wanted at the bottom. So I took this one and did more on the neck and blended it out. Now I'm taking an eyeshadow brush from MAC and a black eyeshadow and I'm packing it all over the black liner to help set the look and darken the look. This will also help with the gradient effect from fading it. Just coloring in the spots that are open. Fill in a little bit underneath the chin. And now time for the horns, which is an optional step. Taking the wax, you can get it at any Halloween store. This is a palette knife, um, but you can also use your fingers to blend or a butter knife. This is spirit gum, which is going to help adhese the wax and that's the brush that I'm using to apply the spirit gum. You want to tap it on until it gets tacky. And then you'll apply the wax and blend out the edges with a palette knife. You can also use your fingers or a butter knife for this step. Now I'm going to apply it to the cheek area and do the same thing. Blend it out and help a little bit with my fingers and help mold the shape onto my skin. Now because the wax doesn't match my skin perfectly, I'm taking my foundation from earlier and going over the horns. And then I'll fill back in whatever the wax messed up. And this is the finished look.